Unity finally has a tree view control in the asset store. So first start with a new scene and you just add a default game object, name it, and in the tree view menu select add tree to selected. And that'll add a tree view to the game object and then in the inspector GUI you can edit the items. So you can modify the tree view items in the inspector. You can add items to the to the hierarchy. You can create new items. And as you populate the items, it automatically will create the tree view controls in the scene view. The default skin that it comes with has a blue background with yellow highlighted text, which is editable in the GUI skin. You can nest as many objects as you like. You can also re remove items. promote nested items. You can move items up and down in the, in the hierarchy. Siblings. So you, you can use the inspector to add items. There's also an example script in the project that does it via code using a simple interface that looks just like if you've done tree view controls in AS.NET or Silver light. When you play the scene view, it disappears and shows on the in the game view. You can also manually add a tree view control by taking the tree view control script and dropping it on a game object. That will give it the default skin. In the tree view menu, there's also an item to reset the defaults so that it uses the the default skin rather than no skin. You can deforce you can force it to use text buttons or the icons that are supplied. You can always change the icons by dragging and dropping into the texture meta references. The two skins, tree view selected skin and tree view unselected skin, 
are used if you want to change the fonts or the spacing, the foreground color, the background color, or add images to the background. For each tribute item. You can modify the width of the tree control. Move it around. You can modify the X position, the Y position, the width of the tree view. And then also, each tree view item is capped by a header length. That's the width of the allowed header text. Let's use the skin that looks nice. <laughs> Alright, so the scene view only displays the tree view item when it's selected, so I need to modify the interface a little bit and use the lock so that I can look at the skin and the tree view editor at the same time. So I'm just going to add a tab for the inspector. I need to select the skin and then lock that and unlock the, the main inspector so that when I select the game object for the tree view it displays and I can edit the skin at the same time. There we go. Okay, I need to select the tree view game object. Okay, here we go. You can change the, the foreground color of the text in each tree view item. So right now we're modifying the selected item. The same thing works for the unselected text, which is the default state for everything that's not selected. You can modify the padding, which pads the, the tribute item text. Right now it's left justified. You can change the text justification. You can change the icons that are used in the tribute control for the expand, collapse, no child, last child, middle child, all that in the inspector. You can just drag and drop your own textures and set the height in the tree view control game object inspector. You can also use the skin to set the background for the tree view items.
or you don't have to set a background at all. Of course, we only change the normal state. You'd want to make them individually set the states for each of the hover, active, and focus types. time. Let's go back to the default layout. Okay, you create an empty game object, you add a tree view to the selected item, and you can go and add items through the inspector. Really easy. 